Pirates were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. Friday, <laughs> we got a party like it's Black Friday. What? Black Friday, Black Friday, we got a party like it's Black Friday. Black Friday, Black Friday, we got a party like it's Black Friday. Black Friday. Hey guys, it's Chloe. So this is my Black Friday haul, and. First of all, I am glad to be back. I mean, I haven't really been gone, but I haven't done, like, a talking video in a while. If you know what I mean by, like, talking video. Just sitting in front of a camera and just kind of, like, blurting out my thoughts to you guys. And I miss them a lot, so I'm going to be doing more of these kind of videos. If you like these kind of videos, like, just sitting in front of a camera and talking or, like, doing hauls or just, like, not, like, as well edited and short put together videos, I personally like those better. But if you guys like these videos better... Please let me know because it's you who are watching them and I just want to please you guys. First of all, I think Black Friday is actually like a scam ripoff, just not a good deal because I went to all these stores and pretty much everything, I mean there were a couple good deals, but for the most part everything was like just the same as it would have been on not Black Friday and it was like so crowded and so crazy, not at my mall, I went to a different mall on the actual Black Friday and it was crazy. And it was like everyone at the end of the day was just like so angry at each other. I think it's very like anticipated and everything, but it's not actually what you think it's going to be. If you're going to like a big department store like Walmart or Target or Best Buy or something like that, I think the deals would be good because like that's where like it originally, you know, Black Friday is like for those big stores. When you're just going to the mall and going to stores like I go to, I feel like it's not... Like, not, there's like barely any deals. But I did get some good deals. I think the most like anticipated store people went to was Victoria's Secret so I'll show you that first if you guys went to Victoria's Secret on Black Friday or pink you know that like the main thing that people wanted were those like leggings and like the um the like leggings and the sweatpants and like the hoodies and everything because they were $25 or something and that's really good for pink if you don't know what it is so everyone wanted those and they were like huge buckets of them by the door but when I went it was like two o'clock or something and there weren't any left in my size so I was really disappointed and I went to a really crowded mall like somewhere where I don't live because I visited my cousins and then when I came back here to where I live um, I went to my mall on Sunday like Sunday night ish and I went to Victoria's Secret and they had an extra small in the tub just sitting there and like it's crazy because it was Sunday, so I don't know. I feel like my mall's like so deserted, but it's kind of good for like Black Friday and stuff because then you don't have to fight for what you want. But anyways, I'll show you what I got. And when I went on Sunday, they had like a free pink mini dog, so I got this dog, and it's so cute. It's metallic with little polka dots, but I got that for free with my pink purchase. And then on Sunday, it was still the Black Friday sale, so technically. It's for Black Friday, and this is my beautiful wrapping. I rewrapped it, which is awful. I just kind of like shoved it in this little band. That's what it is. Anyways, I got these um, yoga leggings, and I've really wanted a pair of these because I have the cropped yoga leggings. I have like two pairs of those, but I don't have any that actually go fully down, and now that it's like winter, I feel like I need some that go all the way down, and I, I will wear these when I go to the gym. But anyways, they're really simple. They just say pink. Um, and they have like a neon orange band around the top. Okay, so on Friday I got um, the buy one get one 50% off bra deal with my sister Mia. And I got this bra and it is gray. And I know you guys are going to freak out because like you're like, oh, she's showing a bra on camera. <gasps> but anyways, I don't really care anymore. And just for like, just so you know, a lot of people were saying, like, you forgot to bring bra and underwear. Obviously, I remembered, but I just didn't show it in the video. But I realized I get more comments, probably, by not showing it than I do, like, with showing it. So, from now on, I think I'm just going to show my bras. So, yeah, it's really cute. It's, like, one that, like, you can, like, unattach the thing. So, then it's, like, strapless. And I really needed a strapless bra because I didn't have one. And I love the lace. And it's, like... I don't know, it's really cute. Sunday when I went with my other sister Sage, we also got the buy one get one 50% off. So I got another bra and it's the same style but in white and I really like this style. When I went with my sister Mia, she got like the 5 for 25 underwear thing. And it like the total I think was more than 60 or something. So we got this bag 
that comes with it if you buy like more than $60 worth of stuff. And it's really nice. It has the Victoria's Secret logo in like metal right here. And it's actually really good quality, which is surprising because usually this free stuff isn't good quality. And it just has these sequins all over it. And inside is this little goodie bag and there's... Um, a body spray in Noir Tees and um, one of the Victoria's Secret little lip things and a body lotion and then like a sample of something and I'm sure you guys have seen this bag in like a million hauls because I've been watching so many Black Friday hauls and everyone's been showing this so you already know the deal. So then I went to American Eagle and I also went to American Eagle on Sunday because um, I didn't have time to go to it when I went Black Friday shopping and they were still having the same 40% off sale. So I got a pair of jeggings and to me all they feel like is jeans. Like they really feel like jeans but they're really tight fit and I like my jeans to be really tight fitting. I really like dark wash jeans like as dark as they can get is my fave. And then I went to Bath and Body Works which is like the ultimate beauty guru like store. I feel like being a beauty guru you have to be so like um... I don't know, there's this level where you have to be if you want to be a beauty guru. And you have to be like obsessed with Bath and Body Works. And like, um, you have to be obsessed with buying makeup. You have to be obsessed with shopping. And just like all that kind of stuff. I'm not really like your average beauty guru, I guess. I don't know. But I decided to be with the influence and get something from Bath and Body Works for fall, winter candles. And I mean, I do love the stuff, but I feel like, I, sometimes I feel like that just like beauty gurus can get kind of cheesy with like the whole like scheme. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. I used to be more like crazy about like being your typical beauty guru, but I feel like I've wandered off onto my own path. If you want to follow the Chloe Couture path, go ahead. I am making absolutely no sense right now, so we're just going to get out of this. Um, I got this candle in Spiced Apple Toddy, and I feel like most of the candles at Bed, Bath & Body Works, I always mix up Bath & Body Works, Bed Bath & Beyond, and The Body Shop, but anyway, Bath & Body Works, I feel like a lot of the candles just smell the same, like there was one called like Vanilla Snowflake, and then one called like Vanilla Cupcake, and one called Vanilla Something Else, they all smell the same to me, so, and to my sister, so, I don't know. This smells exactly like an apple pie with some cinnamon on it, and I love apple pie. It's so good, and my mom actually told me last night that she's going to make apple pie for dinner, but I think she changed her mind and didn't make it, which makes me sad, but I will have to be making some apple pie soon. It actually smells like apple pie, and the other candle I got was also food scented, so my room's just going to like make me so hungry, but I'll read the little caption thing. Celebrate the stars on a clear winter's night with a warming blend of apple brandy and spiced plum infused with mulled cider and tart cranberry. <sighs> Next candle I got was the um, one that smells like a French pastry. It actually, okay. It's called French baguette. Literally, it smells exactly like a French pastry. It smells like a croissant. Smells, oh my god, it smells exactly like a croissant. Like, how do you get a croissant into a candle? I think that they, like, took a croissant and smushed it in here and dyed it white and then put some wicks on the top and called it a candle because literally it's, like, legit straight-up croissant. So, yeah. Mmm. Like, it even has that, like, saltiness to it, which, like, I feel like most people wouldn't like saltiness on a, can on a candle, but I like it because it like mixes things up a little, like rather than your sweet candles. So I got those two candles and then it came with a um, 30, oh, $10 off if you spend $30. And I was like trying to figure it out. Maybe I could like return them and get another one and then get it for free. But it was just too complicated for my mind to work through. But yeah, so I will probably be spending this next time they have a two for free. 20 because I only buy candles during two for 20 because otherwise they're too expensive and that is it do you guys see my little pup right here my little pal he's sleeping that's also a typical beauty guru thing to have like your little puppy behind you cute every beauty guru has like a cute tiny puppy seriously it was so crazy and I kind of went crazy for myself like I usually buy like two things or one thing at a store and I bought four things which is a lot for me 
This sweater, you might think, okay, you either love it or hate it in my opinion, but I'm obsessed with the Jenners Kardashian clan, if you guys don't know that already, but you probably do, and Kendall Jenner posted a picture, and it was like, she was in a really fuzzy sweater like this. And I was, I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, it's just like Kendall Jenner's sweater, except hers is probably like Chanel or something. Anyways, I saw this and I was like, I have to get it. And it's actually so cozy and soft and just like, mm, it makes me feel so warm inside. So I got this sweater and it's like a mint green color and it's just fuzzy all over. And I love it. And... No sales on this. None of the stuff I got from Forever 21 had any sales, which was a real bummer. But anyways, got that, and it's really soft. Like, I could use this as a blanket or, like, a pillowcase. And then I got these leggings, and I feel like these kind of leggings have been really in. A lot of people have been liking leather leggings. I feel like leather leggings are a little bit too bold for, like, school or whatever, so I got these. Hello? Hi? I got these and the regular black leggings, but on the side, they have a strip of leather. So it's just like a touch of leather, so it's not too much. I've been really into leather though, and I thought I'd start off by like starting easy with like something that has a tiny bit of leather. So I got those. I think that'd be really cute with like a sweater and like some combat boots or something. Okay, and then I got this skirt that totally reminds me of just like straight up winter. And it's this really, really soft. Like, it's actually so soft. Usually Forever 21, their clothes aren't, like, that great quality. But this really feels, like, really good quality. So, it's just this, like, um, kind of diamond design. But it also has that little, like, chandelier -y design. I kind of forget what that's called. That's bad. Uh, I forget what that's called. Anyway, everyone knows what I mean with this, like, little swirly chandelier design. I love it. It'll be perfect for, like, a holiday party. Yeah, and my aunt is having her wedding on New Year's Eve, so maybe I'll wear this or something, because it's a casual wedding. And then the last thing I got was this sweater, and it reminds me of this sweater on Brandy Melville, which is probably why I love it so much. Best day to wear a striped sweater. It has black arms, and then it's just really cozy. So then I went to Walmart, which is great, and you probably don't care about this, but... I feel like I know a lot of you guys will care, like inside you will care, so I'm going to show you anyway. Um, I got some new Neutrogena Wave pad refills, and this is just that little like buzzer thing I have, and I like run it all over my face, and I probably should do an updated skin routine, skincare routine, because my other one is so old, so if you want me to do one of those, comment down below. And then I got some razor. I got some razor blades. And then I got this Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. I, cleanser, cleanser. I need to click save that into my head. That's what my course teacher always says. He's like, click save. Anyway, I got this and I have been using this same one, or the same face wash, which is like this one, for the past like five years and I finally ran out and it's just a good basic face wash. I got some Crest White Strips because I am really in need of whitening my teeth. I whitened my teeth like probably like a year ago and these really work for me and I know for a lot of people they like hurt their gums but for me it didn't hurt at all. These work so well like I highly recommend them. Usually teeth whitening products are a little iffy but the Crest White Strips are like downright the best ones. Just be careful like if you're going to buy it just realize that it may hurt your gums. And then I got my Clean and Clear Morning Burst um, Facial Clean Cleanser. Cleanser! This didn't save in my head. Come on, cleanser. You need to stick in there. Okay. So then I got this Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser. And it is oil-free with bursting beads. It wakes me up, which it actually kind of wakes me up. I don't know. It's really refreshing. Like, your face feels cool afterwards. And I love Clean and Clear, so... I just got another one of these. This is, like, my third one, I think. I got a deodorant. And I'm really picky about my scents and deodorant because my mom picked me up a deodorant for my last one and it smells like baby powder and I hate the smell of baby powder and recently everyone like I know has been telling me I smell like a baby. Like everyone. So I thought it was time that I switched deodorants and that might have been some TMI but I don't care. 
And my favorite scent is, I use the Lady Speed Stick, and my favorite scent is Shower Fresh because it just smells, like, nice and fresh. I do not like baby powder deodorants. I never have, like, the baby powder smelling. And now that people are actually realizing that I smell like a baby makes it even worse, so I had to get a new one. And then I just got the Crest 3D White Toothpaste. I have sensitive teeth, and the last toothpaste I used was, like, a sensitive teeth one, but it didn't do anything. So I'm just gonna, you know, stick with the 3D White 3D white because it has a cool box and that's basically it. Then my last and most exciting purchase was from the store Bakers in the mall. My Bakers was closing down and they were having a sale for like 30% off and I got a pair of boots. So these are the boots I got. I love them so much. They're so cute and I just really needed a pair of like actual long boots but they're a good length on me because I don't like when boots like touch my knee. I like them to be below the knee. So these are a perfect length and my sister said they remind her of that hat in Harry Potter that's like all wrinkly and talks and whatever. But I like them. I think they're so cute and they have a nice little heel. And I just really needed some long boots because I only have booties. So I love them so much. I feel like every girl needs a great pair of boots for fall slash winter. Request some more like talking in front of a camera videos because I like doing those. They're easy. I can just film them after school instead of like taking a ton of time for a video. And I know it's really hard for you guys to understand, but it's like so hard for me to film videos like constantly because I actually have a social life too. I try and I have school and school is getting really hard because it's like midterms are coming up and just everything has been, it's been really difficult with me for YouTube, but I'm really trying to get back into the swing of things. So request more videos like those down below. I have a lot of new videos coming up for winter, and I will talk to you guys later. Love you.